Element 27 is using physical movement. Element 30 is using friendly controversy. The desired effect of Element 27 is that students maintain engagement resulting from effective implementation of physical movement. The desired effect of Element 30 is that students participate in friendly controversy activities to maintain or enhance engagement. My name is Penny Ward. I'm an ESE teacher here at um, Wesley Chapel High School. Uh, Self-contained supported class. Uh, most of my In my classroom, we use a variety of strategies um, to en en enhance movement in the classroom. Um, the, one of the things that we do every day, uh, we have English, we have stations, and so we uh, start out in, in either the group station, either the station, um, just practicing basically what we've already done in group, and then we have a free choice station. So I set the timer to keep me on track so they don't sit for longer than they're used to. Um, the timer goes off. We usually give a one or two minute warning to, um, to, that we're going to switch. And they switch from group. They'll come over here. They'll do some station review work. And then the next station is a free choice, where sometimes it's a computer, but sometimes it's a life skill, too. And another thing that we do is between English and math, we transition. The rest of the school gets to transition in the hallways, so we figured that it would be good for us to do the same thing. So we get up and we uh, go out to the FFA uh, where the animals are, and we walk out, see the animals. We practice skills out there. We feed the animals. We hold the animals. Sometimes there's baby bunnies. Um, but we just get some exercise that way. Um, let's see. The third thing we do is any uh, lesson that we have whole group, we always get up and interact with the lesson. For instance, we're learning the bones of the human body right now. So we have a skeleton. We have the bone song on the screen in the background. So we would come in uh, and we would get up and we would sing the bone song and point to the foot bone, point to the leg bones, you know, point to the different bones of the body and sing it at the same time. And that's <laughs> No student that I know of in the general population or in our population can sit still for a long period of time and concentrate. So what we love to do is give them some stretch breaks that are actually purposeful. Um, you know, if, if they can get up and go point to the bone, or if they can get up and go point to the math, you know, thing, or they can get up and go get the, the manipulative that they are choosing to use. Anytime that they can get up and do something purposeful, it, it, it settles them down, it helps them engage, it keeps them motivated, they enjoy it, um, and it helps those times that we do want them to sit still um, for maybe a morning meeting for 10 minutes at a time, it, it helps them sit still when they really have to. As its name implies, friendly controversy refers to engaging students in dialogue regarding topics about which they have different opinions. The basic dynamic is to have students explain and defend their position on topics about which they disagree.
The most important aspect of this topic, however, is the emphasis on the word friendly. The goal is to keep students focused on the content rather than feelings of frustration. Some points of consideration when using strategies of friendly controversy are closely monitor students during friendly controversy activities to ensure respectful behavior, ask students to paraphrase others' positions on issues, emphasize that ideas, not people, are the subject of the debate or discussion, teach students respectful language and phrases to ensure courtesy during discussions or debates, and always save time for a debriefing session after a friendly controversy activity, debate, or discussion. Here are three strategies of friendly controversy. First, class vote. Students vote on a particular issue. Before and after the vote, students discuss merits of various points. To incorporate movement, the teacher can have the students stand on particular sides of the classroom to represent their vote. Second, diagramming perspectives. Students use a graphic organizer, such as a Venn diagram, to compare various points of view. The diagram might highlight area of congruence and areas of disagreement between two or three ideas. Third, expert opinions. Students research the opinions of experts who hold contrasting perspectives and points of view about a particular issue or topic. The class then discuss the merits of the various perspectives and the validity of the experts' ideas, positions, and evidence. Thank you.